Israel has become the first country in the world to offer a fourth dose of the vaccine to risk groups. That includes anyone over 60 years of age. It's meant to prevent, prevent the vulnerable from the Omicron variant of the coronavirus, and the country is also facing rising infection numbers. Israel's government has successfully used vaccination to flatten the curve in the past. Delta infections fell after the country offered a third dose to people last year. And DW correspondent Tanya Kramer went to a vaccination center in Tel Aviv and talked to people about what that fourth jab means. Today is really busy. Lots of people are coming after the announcement that the fourth vaccination is now available. We worked really hard today. It's important to me to get vaccinated to protect myself and the people around me. That's why you get the jab, and I hope others do it as well. It's very scary. The Omicron variant is spreading everywhere. And since we have the vaccines available, one should get it. Why am I doing it? Because I'm 77 and I'm considered in, this, in the danger region. So uh, I'm doing it. I want to see my grandchildren. I want to enjoy life. And that's the way to do it for me. And we're joined now by Nadav, Nadav Davidovich in Tel Aviv. He is the director of the School of Public Health at the Faculty of Health Sciences at Ben Gurion University and also an advisor to the Israeli government. Good evening, doctor. Um, you strongly argued for a fourth jab for vulnerable, vulnerable groups. How does it help them? We are living now in unprecedented times. We need to make decisions now during uncertainty. And what we saw actually that uh, there is waning immunity, very similar to what happened after the second dose. So we see that after four months, there is a reduction of antibodies and also breakthroughs uh, that we can see in the epidemiological data. And on the other hand, we saw that uh, there is a vaccine that is very safe. So very similar to what Israel did after the second dose, we finally decided because of the huge rise in the cases that the waning immunity, the safety of the vaccine, uh, even though we don't have a, uh, you know, enough data that in normal times would be waiting, uh, we decided to finally go for uh, the immunocompromise first and now uh, mm -hmm. we turn it also for people that are over 60 and for healthcare workers. And it, so is, is the Omicron variant part of the big, part of the reason for this push? It's a combination of the waning immunity and the huge rise in the cases we are going uh, to face uh, really um, thousands and thousands of uh, new cases. And uh, finally, the danger that the healthcare system will be overwhelmed. And uh, especially for people that are vulnerable, um, talking about immunocompromise, those who are over 60 or healthcare workers, uh, because of the waning immunity and the safety of the vaccine, even though we're still waiting for data from study conducted at Chiba Medical uh, Center, we made uh, the decision to offer it for people. Of course, it's not compulsory. But of course, the first, second and third dose are much more important. And of course, also around the globe, we need to improve vaccination rates because uh, the current situation is making things, you know, as a fertile ground for uh, right. variants. But in the current conditions, we think it's uh, advice. You were talking about the situation around the globe. Can we expect the rest of the world, if they're able to afford it, to follow Israel's example with a, a booster each time a new variant appears? So Israel will continue to do the surveillance because we started our vaccination program uh, first in the world. Uh, we are in a more advanced situation. We're very proud to share the data. Of course, uh, there is a bigger problem about vaccine nationalism. We think that uh, it's a warning sign. Countries are all together and we should be doing much better. Israel is part of the COVAX initiative. And of course, we have the responsibility and also uh, the utilitarian aspect that also Palestinians are going to be uh, vaccinated. But of course, access is not enough. There's a lot of uh, vaccine uh, hesitancy. That's something that we are working very hard and vaccines are not going to solve the economic and social problems so we need an integrated approach what we call helping all policies vaccines are very important but we need to complement it with other measures 
as we've been hearing for two years, a need for a global response. Uh, thank you so much, Nadav Davidovich, Dr. Davidovich in Tel Aviv, for your time.